My name is Hobo Tom. And I'm his girlfriend. And today we're doing a review of SmackDown. Dear, you need to dress nice. It's Easter. And where's your bunny ears? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble. Be nice. Much better. Matches your outfit. You look so cute. Okay, so now we're going to review SmackDown, which happened last Tuesday. I can only see snippets of it. <laughs> That's because. Oh, I actually saw a movie. Pacific Rim Uprising. Very good movie. One day I'll take her to see it. But again, she's visiting me because it's Easter time. Yay! Yay! So to start off, we have the first match of the night, which was a really good match. It's it's really a cheeseburger match. I mean, it's a fun match. It's a good lead up into WrestleMania. It's the glorious Bobby Roode. Versus Randy Orton. I'm sorry, with Randy Orton as a tag team. We'll see what happens there. Versus Jinder Mahal. And of course, every day. Well, it's Girlfriend Day. But it's also Rusev Day. So again, just a little bit about this match. Yeah, it's a, it's a really fun match. Bobby Roode seemed to take the beating a lot. I mean, he was in the match most of the time. Randy Orton was just frankly, oh, and he probably wish he had his arm around his wife, and just kind of watched the TV. But he got involved a little bit. But Bobby Roode did a lot of the work. Um, Mahal and Rusev really worked well as a good team. I mean, that might be a future for him. Who knows? Um, again, Roode and Orton did not get along well. It was, it was a fun match, some bus spots. Match, some some bus spots. Match, some bus spots. The, the, the thing that seemed to be there, just to get beat up. Just to get beat up. Just to get beat up. Probably the fan or something. Also, also, because we're just. Yeah, that's the end. Yeah, that's the end. We have technical issues here. Yeah, that's the end. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. It's a little bit darker, but the lighting's a little bit better. 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 Lighting's a There we go. Yay. Okay, so that's not too bad. It sounds a little bit better. Yes. Yeah, because this is how I normally do it with my little mic. One day I have to get you one too and get a splitter. But again, that's just technical. So I might be passing this around when I keep my bunny ears up. So again, we had a kind of fun match. Um, it seems just like those things are there to get beat up. You didn't hear me with all the echoes. But the thing's just there again. Even you said he just got tossed around, right? Yes. 
tossed around like a bunny rabbit. And then, of course, it's RKO's for Bobby Roode. Because that's what Randy Orton does. And then he got the Machka kick. The big kick. The big kick. It was a really big kick. And then Rusev got the pin. So that'll be an interesting setup for WrestleMania. And then next week, we're going to have a conference call and actually get your opinions about who's going to win WrestleMania matches. But we'll do that next week, though. Because okay. WrestleMania is eight days away! Then we had the New Day match versus the Bludgeon Brothers. And again, you had some interesting talks about what the Bludgeon Brothers look like. Star Wars. Oh, they look like Hobbit in Star Wars. Again, if you're not used to wrestling, the characters do look kind of funny sometimes. Of course, the New Day were passing out their pancakes again. Should be pancakes should be like plantain chips or something like that. They look like Jamaicans. Well, Kofi Kingston was once a Jamaican, but again, that's a whole other thing. Um, again, this this kind of a fun intro to WrestleMania. So it's a three. So it's going to be a three-way match. The so Usos showed up, who were wearing black and looked like. Little leather pants. Should call them the leather guys. Oh yeah, they look like ninjas. They were coming out of nowhere. Look, it was kind of a fun match. It's kind of a lead up. You look ridiculous with bunny ears. You look cute here. Again, you only do this because I do care about my girlfriend a lot. Aww. Kiss, kiss. But again, back to wrestling. Um, again, this kind of leads up to WrestleMania match of three-way between the New Day, the Usos, and the Bludgeon Brothers. There were also a lot of promos. Um, they have the, the Charlotte Flair. Woo! Who again should have a robe versus robe match versus Asuka. Because again, we saw Charlotte in her car when she left SmackDown event. Which I might get to putting up sometime during WrestleMania week. I don't have a picture of her, but when you see a woman who looks like Charlotte in a little fancy car with a sparkly robe, if it looks like Charlotte has a sparkly robe like Charlotte, it's probably Charlotte. <laughs> then, then we had kind of a really dull match between Tyler Breeze. I don't even know why they did this, other than to introduce the Andre the Giant Battle Memorial Trophy. Because Tyler Breeze and his partner, partner Fandango, looked like. Oh, they look like the YMCA people. Yeah, again, they're just kind of that fun little goofy match. Just to kind of introduce stuff. Versus Dolph Ziggler. Dolph won with a zigzag. Wasn't long. Yeah. Whatever. That was, that was a suit match. Again, the previous match. Of the New Day versus the Blood Brothers, uh, that was a ham sandwich. That kind of let up, at least it leads up to something. And of course, Rude Orton versus Mahal and Rusev. That was a cheeseburger match. Again, pretty good. Again, then you have some more promos cutting into the tag team match with Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon versus, versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. And we'll get into that a little bit. But then you had Shinsuke Nakamura. Versus Shelton Benjamin. And again, this was a... Oh yeah, leather on leather, guys. Again, it was, it was fun. These two can really put on a good quality match. AJ was there at ringside just to make sure no shenanigans happened. And it, it was fun. Um, again, at the end of the match, Shins Shinsuke obviously went over. Um, Shelton tag team. Uh, Gable tried to interfere. AJ, AJ put a halt to that. And again, um, Shinsuke was making fun of AJ Styles, saying you're not going to win, and eventually gave him a pat on the head like a little boy, saying you need to face. He definitely looks, sound like a little boy talking. And, and then, of course, you noticed about Shinsuke's Nakamura's teeth with his mouthpiece. Yeah, that was bloody. Well, well, that's because he has the red mouthpiece with like fake teeth painted on it. Still look bloody to me. Oh. And, and again, this, this led up. 
this is going to be the lead up again for hopefully what should be the Filet Mignon match at WrestleMania, and that is Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles. And again, I have to root for AJ Styles because, again, when I went to the SmackDown match, we saw him in his car leaving the parking lot. I said, hey, that guy looks like AJ Styles. Wait a second. We're coming from a wrestling match. That is AJ Styles. And again, that was, that was kind of neat little thing. I think the only thing that disappointed me on this is, and who knows, it might happen on the Go Home Show this coming week for WrestleMania, is that I kind of wanted to see El Generico. Ole, 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 ole. Versus a masked Kevin Steen coming out because, again, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens were fired. So I wanted to see El Generico come up from the crowd with a mask, Kevin Steen, just like their days from Chikara, Pro Wrestling Gorilla, a lot of the independents. Again, thank you for viewing the Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling podcast. We'd like to wish everyone a very happy, very happy Easter. Easter. And I hope everyone has their share of chocolate-covered bunny butts. Because what's your favorite part of the chocolate bunny? The head. You're vicious. I like chocolate-covered bunny butts. Okay. Well, again, please like and subscribe. And feel free to email us at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. I'll put this up as soon as I can. Uh, next week going to be the two wrestling matches. I'm not sure when I'll get to them to review them. They're just kind of lead-up shows, so I'm not that, I'm that worried about doing that. But we're going. But I'm definitely going to show you what our lead-up to WrestleMania was last year when we first met and took, took her to her first wrestling event, which, which, which was WCPW, which is now Defiant Wrestling. And then I managed to get to sneak off a, a day of collecting aluminum and went to WrestleMania. And the seats were, eh. I'll talk about that more next week and post, post pictures of pic roads to WrestleMania past later. Again, thank you for viewing. Please like and subscribe and feel free to email. If you email or comment, you will get your comments read on the air, I hope. Keep it classy, you wrestling. Other than that, have a happy, happy Easter. Easter. And I'll post things next week. Bye. Bye.